Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, sorry it's been so quiet recently, to be honest with you. Not really much has been going on at the plot. I've kind of just been down here watering and just checking on things. And we had a huge heat wave in the UK um, the week just gone. So, been really quiet. Um, but today, I've just popped down here. I've had a really stressful day, last couple of days. So, I kind of just wanted to come down and just potter around clear my mind a little bit I, I love this place for that it's just the perfect location I know we're right next to a train line but it's so quiet um, everyone says hello and then kind of just keeps themselves to themselves which is quite nice when it's been a day like today so yeah just come down I'm gonna try and neaten it up a little bit because there's so much going on the um, broccoli actually bolted um, or went into seed I can't remember what it's quite called so I'm actually going to clear that all up and I'm just going to try and clear that side down a little bit and start working on that. I'm also going to have a look at the raised bed I've done because I think majority of it is kind of nearly done now. There's just the parsnips and the lettuce which keeps growing back which is amazing. Um, I don't think the carrots are going to grow anymore so I think I'm just going to pull them um, and the onions as well. The red onions didn't look like they've grown at all. Uh, the white onions I'm just going to pull and let them sit on the soil apparently so we're going to try that um, and yeah so just come along with me. So this is the area here I kind of want to clear up and this area here as well because that's kind of my compost heap at the moment which is really not a nice sight so I'm going to take my compost bin move it over and try and put as much in there as I possibly can and see if we can do that and then this is the other bed which I'm just gonna start tidying up the cow I haven't managed to get in a cover for it so I'm just gonna clear it out for this year um, and this is all the broccoli it's all I managed to get one out and then the rest flowered really really quickly so and we don't have a lot of room in our fridge so I can and freezer so I can even take it home to freeze but there's still some onions going over here so I'm going to leave this area here and just tidy up a little bit. But they seem to be going quite well at the moment. Um, so I'm just going to leave that and then do from here over. Um, and then try and maybe dig a couple of that this bit here through. And obviously the compost as well. Um, but the really good news is that my baby booze are starting to come through. One of them I did put around the wrong way. So... Um, it's actually not climbing, it's climbing the opposite way to the arch, but never mind, it's still growing. We've got a pumpkin on it, so I'll show you them. So this is them here. So this one's coming through so well. This one looks like it's whittled over the last couple of days. So I'm gonna give it a good feed and see if that helps. Um, but they are coming from this plant down here. And then this is the, the one that um, is growing the opposite way. I didn't think I think I didn't put it in the ground properly, but just come down here today, and it's got a baby pumpkin on it. So I'm really pleased with that. The, oh, it looks like there's another one coming up actually. So we'll see how that goes. But the other actual big pumpkins, I think they're Tom Foxes, are doing super good. As you can see, look, that's the size of my hand. And they're doing so well. I'm going to trim down the other side because nothing is growing on that bit there. Um, and it's taking all the nutrients. So I'm just going to do one. And then the other one is over here. It's really funny because they're both growing really differently. Different sizes, different colours. So it's really interesting to see actually. Um, and this is the other white baby boo. That always keeps looking like there's going to be a couple of pumpkins come up on it. Like you can see around here. And then suddenly they just die so don't really know what's going on with that one um, but i just thought i'd see how it went in the ground rather than as a climber and see if it produced any more or made better pumpkins so um but yeah i'm going to start with a water of everything and then i'm going to start clearing over here and see how we get on So everything I take off, 
I'm going to reuse for everything so I'll keep the net in I know it's got a couple of holes and things in but I might be able to use it at a later date um, even if I need to cut it down by size or just overlap and it will be good um, and all the string I cut off as well I'm sure I can use that at a later date so just trying to reuse as much as possible um, especially with it being plastic free July at the moment I'm trying to figure out ways that I can number one reduce the amount of plastic I'm bringing onto the plot number two reusing as much as that's already on here when I took it over there were quite a lot of plastic like pots that people when you buy plants what they already come in so I'm just trying to see what I can reuse from that I did actually get I'm really glad I didn't bring it with me today but a seedling tray that's completely stainless steel so um got it that the packaging it came in was polished iron um but i'll show you that at a later date as well um but yeah we'll keep all of this and reuse it Okay, so a little tip, don't wear a jumper, even if it's sleeveless, when you come to do manual labour. It's not the one, but I've managed to get it roughly clear. I'm going to leave it like it is for the moment and start doing the compost. So I've managed to take everything out, all the big stuff, because there was actually quite a lot of big stuff, not just the broccoli and kale. So I've cleared that out. Next job I really want to do is the compost. So there's only little bits left now. And then my onions, obviously. Um, but yeah, I want to put this into the compost bin and hopefully could try and get that actually started. Um, see how much of it has already gone into the ground because <laughs> I've thrown potatoes and things. There's potatoes everywhere in this plant. Everywhere, every single week I come back and there's a new potato plant growing. It's ridiculous. Good old trains um but yeah they just grow out of nowhere so um i'll quickly show you my sweet corn because i don't know if you can help at all with it if anyone can help so these are the sweet corn at the moment and only one of them has done this is that a good thing or is that a bad thing should all of them have done that by now so many someone actually really kindly commented so the reason they split is called tilling so I need to have a look, little look and find out what that actually means. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or bad thing. We'll see. Um, but my sunflower's coming along really well. You can kind of see the top just starting now. It looks so pretty. All the different shades of green, like the ombre look. I love it. You can see it kind of pointing towards which way the sun comes in at. Um, but yeah, I'm slightly concerned because my neighbour's sweet corn was planted after mine and it looks amazing. I think I didn't do it close enough together. I think that's one of the problems. Um, this is the raised bed. So I think the onions are ready. Let's pull that one. Oh, I might have left them in there too long. Oh, no, they look okay, actually. Let's pull them out now, actually. Oh, absolutely tiny. Okay, that doesn't look good. It looks like a lot of white in there. I don't think, I'm not gonna leave that in there, that one. A little bit of white. Mm, is that really bad? Should I leave that and not eat it? That looks like a good one. not bad at all quite pleased with them i know they're not huge but they're good and these are the red ones you can see they're nowhere near as big i don't even think they were oh i don't know they look like onions but they look more like just large bulbs no yeah, i'll leave them for a little bit longer and um, these are the parsnips 
that look okay. They're getting these ones at the front are getting really big. Um, and the lettuce as well has grown back so big. I'm so pleased with that actually, because I didn't think they were going to grow back at all. Um, so, oh, that looks that one looks like it's doubled actually. It's split. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. And then over here are the other carrots, which are tiny. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Sarcastic perfect, shall we say. Let's pull one and see. See where we're at. Oh, absolutely tiny. So these were the Amsterdam carrots. Put another one. Nope. Bigger. Not huge though. I'll leave the other ones for now, I think. That one looks like it's dead, so let's pull that. Oh, that actually looks like the best one so far. Okay. Brilliant. Maybe these are ready. Let's pull this and see this one. Oh, you can see that one has actually gone funny. I'll take that one out. Yeah. I don't really trust eating those ones. I think the ground's not good for this bit. That one looks okay. Probably could have left that. It's all about learning, isn't it? No. And again, look, you can see the white soil. Mm. Little bit concerned. Yeah. Not great. But I'll leave the other bits. I'll leave the carrots to grow a little bit more. I'll leave the parsnips. And I'll leave the onions just to dry out a little bit as well. But yeah, I'll get sorted on the, started on the compost heap as well now. Just taken the top layer off and it actually looks like majority of it has already started to decompose so I'm thinking about just spreading it a little bit more all the stuff I've already put in the compost heap oh then I'll leave it in there in the bin but everything else I kind of might just leave it spread it out a little bit more and give it a few more weeks and actually see what it does can feel rain so we might have to do a mad dash to the shed um but yeah it's going pretty well so i don't know if you can see but like the layer underneath is breaking up quite well i haven't seen any worms yet which i was thinking if it has broken down i would see them but it's looking okay i think yeah i think i'm just gonna spread it take all the big bits out Put them in the compost heap in here and then leave everything else and see how we go so i've just given everything a really good neat and down i've um took all the weeds out from around the pumpkins and you can see how much bigger they look as well now and i'm hoping that where they're now not covered completely by weeds and things it might not suffocate them as much and the pumpkins can grow a little bit better so because I've actually noticed here's another one coming up just here um, and I managed to get the other side of that onto here to start climbing a little bit um, so 
fingers crossed. So I'm actually going to start this section by cutting off the um, pumpkin, like the vine here, because there's nothing actually growing down here. And someone once said, if you want a really big pumpkin, one big one rather than loads of little ones, the best thing to do is cut it off and then all the nutrients that would have been going to there to try and grow that will go straight to the pumpkin. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do it on the other one as well. And I'm just going to de-weed it a little bit to stop the suffocating on this area as well because you can see it's getting a little bit overgrown so let's go so um yeah cut that down and then i've just de-weeded a little bit and picked some of the orange too and look at them how beautiful are they i did google it and you cannot eat them well they say you shouldn't eat them raw because of died death digestion issues um but they just look absolutely stunning so um don't eat my gloves that's what they're meant to look like right <laughs> um but yeah i just absolutely love them i just find it so fascinating sorry the rain started to come down loud so we had to make a mad dash into the um shed but yeah what i was going to say was one thing i've really struggled with with the crops and knowing when to pick them is nothing looks like it's store bought so you you kind of try and want to go by what you've seen already um but what i would say is follow as many people as you can on instagram watch them all year round or any social media as you can um and just see what theirs look like rather than trying to go from store bought because i guarantee nothing looks the same especially with like the spinach and i leave everything too long because i think it's gonna i'm waiting for it to look like what i think it should look like and then suddenly it's too late and it's ruined so yeah i would say follow as many people that grow their own food um i'll link a couple of people down below actually that in the description box who i really enjoy following um and it will just give you kind of a better idea of when the stuff needs to be picked because what you get in the shop is not not what you get when you grow your own so um yeah the rain's starting to come down quite a bit now so i think i'm gonna leave i'm just gonna firstly put some soil into some pots to take home with us um because i've got a couple of things at home i might just try starting um, someone gave us a custard apple the other day and the seeds inside are so big so I'm actually going to attempt it now that I've got the polytunnel as well because um, I think they're initially from places like Peru um, and really hot climate so now I've got the polytunnel I could attempt to do that and I may start another loofah because unfortunately the one I've got in the polytunnel is now officially dead um, but yeah, so I'm going to fill up some pots with some compost from my big old container um, and then head out. But thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully things will start to get a bit more exciting <laughs> from now on. But yeah, have a lovely weekend. Um, stay cool and take care. Bye.